To begin this exercise, open up the files in the O drive, in the 204 handout, in the Boston folder, in the Photoshop folder, and in the Selection Files folder. My mouse acts a little differently. I have to click to select, but I believe that yours, as soon as you hover, it goes blue. But you do need the control key. Hover on castle. Get cloudy blue sky. There's two purple dragons. Make sure that you choose the PNG file. You need the seagull. And you need the medieval knight. And just click open to open those files and they will appear above. All the tabs will be displayed there. Click on the castle to make it active. Use your magic wand. W is the shortcut to activate the uh, set of tools there we want the magic wand, so Shift W will change it to the magic wand. Click on the sky and right click and click Select Inverse or use the menu. Now we just have the castle selected and at this point, to see all the documents, find the five up. So now we can see all the documents. It tells us to choose the Move tool. The Move tool, the shortcut is V. Take it and drag it. And once you see the plus sign, you can release over on the cloudy blue sky. You can close this document. Step 5 tells you to go to the Arrange Documents, which is this icon here, and to choose the Consolidate All, and that leaves, that hides the other documents. So press the Move tool. We already have the Move, move tool active and place the castle so that it's about midway, that this left edge is about halfway through the image. Your arrow keys will nudge your selection for you as well. And I'm going to come over here and my layers on so that you can see that when you dragged the castle over, it created a layer onto this file. We want to duplicate the castle. Actually, first we're going to double click on here. This is step seven. And rename that. Just type in enter. Then we're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key first before we touch the mouse. You can see the double arrow. Drag over, let go. Step 9, edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then you can move it. I'm just using the arrow keys here. to make it look like that. Step 10 in the Layers panel, click on the name of the duplicated castle right here, and rename it to Left Castle, Enter. Step 11, we'll add the dragon. Click on the Purple Dragon document. We need to select just the dragon, so click on the magic wand tool and click on some transparency. So 
this area with the grid, that is a transparency area. So click on there. And now we want to inverse. So I'm just going to use the right click. And now we just have the dragon. Choose the move tool. And drag this dragon selection onto the cloudy blue sky document. So I'll drag it over here. It appears. Bring it into the picture and let go of my mouse left mouse key. And the dragon is here. Rename this new layer as dragon. So it's right here. Double click. Drag and enter. We want the dragon to be flying through the castle as though it's coming out of this doorway. And in order to do that, we need to put the dragon, which is at the top layer, if we were to send it right, see where the blue line is, if we were to let go, it's right behind. But we want it between these two. So the left side is, a, is over top of the dragon, and the dragon is over top of the right side. Now we need to add some seagulls, step 13. So we'll go over to seagull, and we'll select with the marquee the rectangle one. So just a reminder, M makes that tool active, and shift M would toggle through, but we we have it. We're going to put a, a marquee around the seagull, and then we're going to go to the magic wand, and normally when we click the magic wand, it would select the sky, but we want it to take away the sky, so press and hold your Alt key. You can see a little minus symbol underneath the wand and click and that leaves you with the seagull. We can place a copy onto the blue sky document without having to make cloudy blue sky active. You can see it's not active over here. This one is. So the way to do that, press Control alt hold them down, drag the selection of the seagull onto the tab, it appears, and drag somewhere in the sky, and release the mouse, and we get one seagull. Step 16, go to the move tool, I'm going to press the V, the move tool is selected, and move the bird to adjust the position. Once the bird is added and positioned, so I'll make it as close to the drawn result. Put it right there. Press the Alt and drag to create another duplicate of the bird. So I am right here on layer 1. I'm actually going to name this. It's not in the instructions, but it just helps to keep you clear. Okay, so I'll press Alt. I have the bird. I'll bring it over here and release. And I'll do that one more time. And you can see there was my original. It's made another layer and a second layer. So I'm going to come to this one and move it so that it's more like the picture. Once the bird is added and positioned, we've done the Alt. And once complete, close the Seagull JPEG file. Open the swatches palette. It's, they're now called panels, but anywhere that you see the word palette, just substitute the word panel. Click on the color name darker green. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'll just pick a dark green here. I click it, 
and it becomes the foreground color, as you can see here. I'm going to press the X on the keyboard. It switches to the background color, and now I'm going to go get the yellow-orange, which I believe is this one. And now the yellow-orange is the foreground. Choose the paintbrush tool. That is this tool right here. Go to the drop-down. Find this brush, which is called Dune Grass. The default size is 112 pixels, but we're going to set it to 30. Press Enter. And we are going to draw grass along the bottom. We can drag. You can see nothing's happening. I'm going to show you why momentarily. So it's happening over here, but we don't see anything over on the left side. And that is because this layer needs to be at the top. And now they show. Now there wasn't a step about making a a new layer and right now if I'm not mistaken we do have a sea one seagull and on and the grass which I, I'm not crazy about that so I am going to Take that one off. And I'm going to come to the seagull copy. And I'm going to Alt, make another one. And this way, my seagulls are on three different layers and my grass is now separate. So you need to make some grass and then you could take some more time to make it look a little better than, than mine does. And it tells you switch the colors up, switch the brush size, and make some more grass. So I'll let you do that. And once you're finished, Add the Medieval Knight's Mask onto the lower left corner. So make that, you can make it active by coming to the window menu and clicking on the file, but really the easiest way is just to come right there. Now from what we've learned, we know that actually the magic wand will select this whole thing and then inverse would get the knight for us. but We'll just follow the instructions a uh, step 22. Quick selection tool. So I can shift W to get to the quick selection tool. If you're not sure, just hover on it. It will tell you the name. And I would like to zoom in, control plus. My brush is, is big. I can press the square bracket to change the size, or I could change it here, and just drag around until you get the whole mask. And then we want to copy that selection onto the other document, so press Control-Alt. You know what, I'm missing a little piece. So actually, I'm going to make this, oops, okay. press Control Alt, drag onto our other one, and bring the cursor down, and now release the mouse. And then you can release your two keys, and I'll just use the 
move here to bring him up. Remember your little arrow keys help to place him. We can close this one here. Probably can close that one too. And add your name to the document. Step 24. Click the text tool. Set to Arial. Set this to 18. This is Oh, I am on bold. Click the font color box located on the options bar. Hover over a piece of the cloud. It turns to an eyedropper. Click it. You get that new color. Press OK. Click at the bottom right and put your name onto your document and then save it as Castle Sky.